Okay, so we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install the SAS extension backplane for the R720 and R730 XD servers. We're going to need four things first before we start. One of them is a 2.5 inch SAS backplane extension. Now this is going to go in the back of the R720 XD and the R730 XD to give you two extra 2.5 inch bays. This cable, a quick overview of this cable right here, is just to connect the back plane to the motherboard. This cable right here is to go from the SAS 2.5 inch back plane, which is the extension back plane, to your primary back plane in front. And this is your 8 pin power cable. So, what I'm going to do before we even put it in the server, I get this lined up with my camera here. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the cables to the extension back plane first. Okay, now let's go ahead and go over here to the server. I'll go over here carefully. I'm going to have to go ahead and raise this up a little more. Now if you notice here, I already removed my CPU fan shroud and my fan array or fan header. That's going to go ahead and be a requirement before we get started here. Now if you look right here, you have three little metal tabs that are coming, uh, Two of them are coming off the 2.5 inch bays, and one of them is just sitting on the power supply enclosure right here. So to go ahead and put this in, you just going to make sure you line it up with those little slots right there. Pull up on this tab, push it in while it's all the way down. You're going to have to make sure you're pulling up on this tab right here. Release the tab. Now your cables are already connected. Since we did that earlier, now if you look right here, there's an 8 pin header on the board. You're going to want to go ahead and connect that 8 pin power cable to that 8 pin header. Now, for your SAS to motherboard cable, if you look right here, uh, you're going to see two of these, you can, you can, there's two places you can plug this in. Now, uh, keep in mind, for this cable specifically, it's not color coded, so you're actually going to be plugging in the black slot right here, and you're going to see the cable connector is actually white. You're also going to see one of these exact same cables, except longer, going to the front back plane, and that one's plugged into the white cable header right here. We're going to make sure we're going to the black cable header. So we got those two cables connected correctly. Now the last and most complicated cable of all. This backplane to backplane cable. This goes to your extension backplane in the back to your primary backplane in the front. Uh, now the difficult part about this, and this took me a while when I first did it, this guy right here is uh oh, let me get over here so I can see it's pretty hard to find the reason for that is a little bugger is right down there look at the lower right hand corner of the screen it's right there the autofocus might be focusing in on different objects uh, yeah, this one's kind of a pain. So the notch on this cable is going to be facing upward when you plug it in there. Now you're going to have these two cables in the way. Just try to put a little pressure upwards. Get them out of your way because you're going to want this cable underneath these two cables. Like I said, everything's a breeze until you get to this one cable. Then you're like, oh crap, what happened here? And it's going to be one of those 
struggling moments of doom but I'm going to attempt it's not one of those moments by plugging in this bastard cable come on asshole see the video looked pretty professional until I got to this one point didn't it and it's like this guy doesn't know what he's doing anymore and just wait till somebody in here with fingers twice as my size trying to do this <laughs> and try to prevent from getting angry when you're doing this and um... and we got it okay alright so it's in yeah and now uh, you're gonna want to make sure the cables are tucked away uh, just kinda use common sense when you're doing this you're gonna want to make sure like these cables are pushed in as much as they can go against the back plane because your fan header is about to go in and let's see for this one now there's a cable guard right here and you're going to make sure this backplane cable is slotted in that cable guard so see good there and you're just going to make sure you put both the fan shroud and the fan header back in carefully okay so we got the fan header correctly placed then we're just going to push the push tabs even link should be done with both hands but in my case I'm not doing it like that I'm gonna go ahead and put my fan CPU fan shroud back on so oh also another important issue is just since we got this server out I know it's completely off topic something very very important on these that I'm surprised more people aren't complaining about if you have any higher end CPUs that are higher clocked on these and take more uh, TP you're going to want to make sure these drives are either too thin 2.5 inch in the 3.5 inch caddies or you're going to want to make sure there's no drives in there at all the reason for that is once you fully po populate full profile height 3 point drives in here the server can no longer get air and you will bounce off of around a hundred Celsius um, as soon as you take these two drives out it drops to about 70 I had a personal issue with this I could not find out what was going wrong it's because see I have a a 2.5 inch drive in there now this one's not low profile you can get away with yeah I'd probably be okay this one doesn't have any high performance CPUs in it so I probably, probably doesn't matter but my other one that has better processors that are higher TDP soon as you put 3.5 drives in these two middle slots it overheats like and crazy and I will show you all why real quick if you notice there's a hole back there and that hole in front of that fan gets covered up as soon as you populate the whole thing with 3.5 inch drives and the server will have drastic overheating issues and you'll probably get memory corruption first before the whole thing starts tanking at least it's what happened to me luckily after it cooled down my memory wasn't throwing errors anymore so important note completely off topic but and now we're just gonna go ahead and put back on the lid Uh, just let you know, I'm struggling with this one because this lid hatch is actually broken. I got this thing for free for my job, so it's not in the best condition. This is like the last one left, and I love these R720 
and have a 730 XDs because they're really good bang for the buck to use servers. And I know you're not supposed to prefer Dell over HP or HP over Dell, but I kind of prefer Dell a little more because their IPMI is really good on their servers and they allow you to control the fans and you can have this in your room like I do without having it sound like an aircraft's taking off, which is really nice. Okay, so that's that. Server's installed, and that was it. We're done. So if all went well and you push the power button, you won't have an explosion. And if all went well, you're good to go.